Hello all. So, in the last sessions we have briefly discussed about what is AI and we have seen different concepts under AI. What is search, what are different search algorithms, how AI actually works. Okay. So, when we have seen all those topics in AI, we have understood that the AI algorithms that we have seen, the search algorithms that we have seen for working on with AI are completely rule based. Okay. So, we need to learn those rules and understand the rules along with the search algorithm such that we can work on a given predefined task which is a bit complicated. So, for that reason thinking about that uh, uh, perspective we have machine learning. Okay. So, instead of human putting efforts to make a machine understand all the rules, framing the rules and then working on that, we have the next concept called machine learning which is a subset of AI. Okay. So, today we will discuss about two important subsets of AI which are machine learning and deep learning. Okay. So, when we have seen without machine learning, okay. so when you want to go, when we talk about the traditional programming. Okay. So, what we do in traditional programming, we learn the instructions, we learn specific instructions, we understand them and we feed the instructions as a program. We write those set of instructions as a program and give that program to a computer. But with machine learning, we will give machine the ability to understand the data that we give. For example, when I talk about C language, okay, which is a traditional programming language. Okay. So, if I want to sort the numbers in the array. Okay. So, what we do is we write step by step instructions for sorting an array. Okay. So, these are explicit, this is called explicit programming. Okay. But in machine learning, we feed the data to the machine and say this is the order of the machine and this is how a smallest number looks like, the smallest of all the numbers and then please learn from the data and produce the smallest number. Okay. So, when I talk about machine learning, machine learning is all about giving machine ability to learn all by itself. Okay. Now, let us talk about machine learning in detail. So, machine learning actually also involves algorithms. Okay. When we have seen AI, we have search algorithms where for fulfilling a task. The same thing happens here, but the way a machine learns the algorithm is different when we compare it to traditional AI approaches. Okay. So, when I talk about machine learning, machine learning involves algorithms and statistical methods that actually enables the computer to improve the performance on a task without explicit programming. That is machine learns specific patterns and machine learns from the data all by itself. Okay. So, we say machine learning is a subset of AI. Okay. So, as you can see here in the figure, I have an input which is an image which is a car. Okay. So, in machine learning what we do is the feature extraction is done. If I want to identify this as car what we do is we go for feature extraction. Okay. So, feature extraction is done by a programmer saying if, the, if you want to identify this particular image, it has two, four wheels, the body of the dimensions of the body of the car is this and all. Okay. So, we give some features and then the classification, we apply one algorithm. Here we are using classification because I want to find whether it is a car or not. Okay. So, depending upon the features that we give, we will classify that particular, we will use classification algorithm and say the output whether it is a car or not. Okay. So, there are two important steps that we have to understand here when I talk about machine learning. When an input is given, feature extraction is done and that is applied to a algorithm. Okay. And then we produce the output. Okay. So, there is another subset of machine learning which is called as deep learning. Okay. So, when I talk about deep learning, I say it is subset of ML. Okay. Machine learning is subset of AI, deep learning is subset of machine learning. Okay. Now, here this involves neural networks. Okay. As told you in the earlier class, machine learning involves the basic algorithms, whereas deep learning involves the algorithms with neural networks. Okay. So, these networks actually can automatically learn to extract the features from the data and make complex decisions. As you can see here in the figure, the same thing, I want to find if it is a car or not. So, there in the previous figure, we were trying to give the features, the programmer gives the features. Okay. But here in deep learning, automatically the features would be extracted and that would be applied to an algorithm and the output is produced. Okay. So, when you look into this, this is the major difference between AI and deep learning, machine learning and deep learning. Okay. So, feature extraction, so manual intervention is required whereas here feature extraction would be done automatically. Okay. Now, 
as you see machine learning uses algorithms and learns on its own way but needs some human intervention to give the features or to correct the errors whereas deep learning uses advanced computing techniques which are called as neural networks which will adapt to the environment learn the patterns identify the patterns and work by itself like how human brain works okay so let's see machine learning in detail what is machine learning in detail today in the session okay so when i talk about machine learning the first definition of machine learning was framed in 1951 by uh, computer science pioneer called arthur samuel he says machine learning is nothing but the study that gives computer ability to learn okay so when i talk about this particular definition initially in the beginning machine was just given an ability to learn okay but that is not efficient that is not sufficient when when we talk about human learning system okay so we learn something but we may do mistakes so what do we do we correct the mistakes by our experiences right so to taking this human uh, concept into picture machine learning definition is being changed that is machine learning is a subset of ai which enables the machine to automatically learn from the data and improve the performance from past experiences to make prediction not just learning the data after you learn the data you must be able to improve the performance also based on your past experiences okay to make proper predictions okay so when you look into the entire uh, ai picture okay so for ai is a big field in which machine learning is a sub field of ai and then deep learning is sub field of again machine learning so these days we hear lot about generative ai right so generative ai is again subset of deep learning okay so in this subject we would be focusing on machine learning okay throughout five units we'll be studying about different algorithms and different uh, you know methodologies with which we can make machine learn okay so as you can see ai is nothing but techniques that equip computer to you know emulate total human behavior okay so when i talk about machine it is just giving machine ability to learn when we talk about dl it involves neural networks wherein in depth processing of data takes place and you know a more accurate more accurate models can be developed so when i talk about generative ai it is again a subset of deep learning where we can deal with images text we can generate images and so many other advanced technology like chat gpt is a generative ai model okay so this is all about where ai ml deep learning and generative ai fits into the context of ml okay so machine learning is a subset of ai that aims to mimic how human beings learn by using data okay so as i told you not just learning the data but you have to learn the data and make the necessary changes from the past experiences to improve the performance okay so we have another definition for machine learning which says a machine learning is all about you know training a computer to learn from the experiences with respect to some task and improve the performance from experience so you have to make sure of these three terms pte performance task and experience so based on the experiences on that particular task the machine must be able to improve the performance okay now let's see how machine learning works okay so as you can see in the traditional program depending upon the data we write the program and generate the results but when i talk about machine learning we give the from the data we give the predicted output this is the data and this is the output that i want please develop a model which takes this data and gives this kind of output okay so in traditional programming we give data we give the prog we write the program that is the instructions with which we get the output but here in machine learning we write we give the data and say this is the expected output that i want please develop a model for that okay so model is developed based on the data and based on the predicted output okay so in machine learning basically the machine learns the data finds the hidden insights in that particular data that is patterns in the data and then the model is developed which will be trained and then it predicts the results okay so let's take an example okay so i have say i have 100 pictures 100 images okay now i want to identify one person in that particular 100 images okay so the person may be available in those images and the person may not be available in those images so how do we write a traditional program for this first of all we doesn't know how do i read that particular image okay so there are few things which are very difficult for traditional programming like this okay so in this case what do we do in machine learning even if i want to write a program what do i do i give some instructions okay if the current picture has a face 
proceed to next step okay if the face is white or black or the colors okay and then we say if the person is wearing glasses or if he has black hair or if he has brown eyes okay we give some features of that particular image even after doing all this we might fail because the person may be looking different in another picture in one picture he may be wearing glasses in another picture he may not be wearing glasses in one picture he may be you know wearing one kind of outfit or looks different by leaving his hair or whatever it is in the second picture he may look different okay even if you write all these instructions the person may look different in all the different pictures is present and that again uh, would be a problem for the traditional programming okay so what do we do in machine learning as i told you we give the 100 pictures as input and we say this is the person i want to identify we will give a sample picture of a person so the machine will try to find the patterns by understanding the input data and the predicted output so the machine will compare this predicted output with all the 100 pictures and try to predict the output okay so this is how your machine learning works okay so when i talk about the differences between machine learning and deep learning okay so why do we have to learn machine learning first because that is the first basic approach or that is the first subset of ai okay so there are few differences between machine learning and deep learning so when i talk about machine learning it requires structured data deep learning as deep learning has neural networks which which mimics the functionality of human brain even if the data is unstructured machine learning deep learning algorithms work okay so machine learning requires some human interventions for correcting the mistakes or for feature extraction whereas deep learning we don't require human intervention for identifying the mistakes okay so as machine learning algorithms are very you know small algorithms i don't say small machine learning algorithms comparatively are you know small hence they can function on cpu also because the data that we take is very less in the algorithms are a bit small when you talk about deep learning the algorithms are huge they require neural networks for which gpu computation is required for computing okay so take some seconds to hours for working on with machine learning models even if you take huge data set but deep learning takes may take more time for uh, computing or evaluation so when you talk about use cases simple forecasting predictions and other simple applications simple practical applications will be using machine learning for more advanced applications like you know autonomous vehicles or you know language translation and all that will be going for uh, deep learning models okay so this is how machine learning algorithms and deep learning algorithms are uh, differed okay so in terms of computational power in terms of time in terms of uh, you know approach and then in terms of uses we use either machine learning algorithms or deep learning algorithms okay so today we have discussed what is we have already seen what is ai and we have seen ai required some rule based approaches and complicated process so for which we have started working on some subset of one subset of ai which is machine learning okay and one other subset of machine learning is deep learning so in this subject throughout the rest of the topics throughout the subject we would be discussing about machine learning thank you